Hello my friends, we're going to talk about Rob and Sophie today. Yes, that's right, it's eBird Online, and I'm back with another review from 90 Day Fiancé Season 10. Now I've got to tell you, I'm surprised. Not surprised that Rob has cheated, but just surprised that it took so little time for Sophie to uncover his dastardly secret. So to the surprise of literally nobody, Sophie caught Rob the Knob cheating yet again. And so she's moved out of his lavatoryless apartment. And she's rented a place of her own. And guys, she lets us know she doesn't know what to do. She's given up her whole life to move over to LA to be with Rob. And now she's left in no man's land. Do you want to hear my thoughts on the whole debacle? I thought as much. But before we do, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel thus far. But if you've yet to do so, please consider subscribing. Make eBird a very happy eBird. Smash that big red button, mark subscribe. And please also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you know anybody else who would enjoy my videos, please consider sharing on your social media. Thanks guys. Right, so without further ado, I give you Rob and Sophie. Now at this juncture I'd normally say I told you so, but there's absolutely no point because I told you just last week. The eBird needs no proof. If I think it, then it's so. So I'm going to start with the whole discourse about Sophie and Rob having children. And guys, just before we start my review, I've got to say, I've obviously watched the episode and with the knowledge that Rob has cheated, every single thing he says is an oh my god with a side of, are you for freaking real? And all washed down with a long tall glass of, what's the actual fuck? And this next moment was just one of those moments. The couple were in the apartment and they were discussing the events of the night before, where obviously Sophie and Rob found out they both had different ideas about if they were gonna have children or not. And guys, here's what Rob had to say. I did not get much sleep. To be hit with the, the unsurety that we might not work out, it is earth shattering. You want to go outside? Uh, wait, what? The shady, sleazy actions you're undertaking right now are going to finish this relationship. Never mind your shared values, dreams and goals. And Rob told producers, Well, if Sophie doesn't want to have children, she needs to go out and find a man who wants the same thing as her. Uh, Rob, if you do want to have children, you need to go out and find a woman that wants the same as you. And I wish you all the best in finding somebody that wants to bring a toddler into your lavatorially challenged existence. I really don't fancy your chances. And so the couple go outside to chat. And Rob said, I realise this isn't up to me, but I just want to know where you stand with things. Sophie then said, It's not that I don't want to have kids. It's just that I want to have my life together first. I've only just arrived in LA and there's different things I want to do. So taking care of a, another person is the last thing I want to do right now. Yeah, with all due respect, Sophie, that wasn't the question. The question is quite simply this. Do you ever want to have kids? Do you see it in your future? He's not asking, are you ready right now? Good Lord, Rob knows he's not ready. He doesn't even have an inside loo. His apartment is one room and it looks like the back of a charity shop. You know, all the shit they can't sell and they've got to incinerate. As far as I'm concerned, guys, Sophie's kind of dodging the question. And Rob said, I don't know what I'd do with my life if I didn't have a family. You didn't ask me anything, you walked away. The problem is pregnancy. It's not I'm against family, it's, it's pregnancy. And you have not asked me, you still haven't even asked me one question about well, I'm that. I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to say. Listening to these two go round in circles, it's like trying to hang glide through porridge. It's both a thankless and pointless task. Anyway, Sophie tells Rob about her fertility worries. And she said to him, I can't believe that you didn't ask. I told you I had a problem with my ovaries and you didn't ask if I could still conceive. And guys, whilst I do hate to side with Rob on any issue, I do think it's incumbent upon the person who has the medical issue to say, well, I can't have kids because of this. Not to just say, I had an operation on my ovaries, dot, 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 pregnant pause. Excuse the pun. But yeah, if she knew she couldn't conceive, I can't imagine why she wouldn't tell him. It's not something that somebody like Rob is likely to ask. But I do just find it all very strange that neither one of them spoke about the issue of having children before having not one, but two proposals of marriage. But then Sophie reasserts the fact that it's not that she doesn't want a family, it's just that she doesn't want to be pregnant. And she offers two alternatives, surrogacy, like the eBird suggested from last week, or that they might consider adopting a child. But Rob said to Sophie he'd rather go the surrogacy route because he wants to see little Robs running around. Really, Rob, the eBird would like the adoption route. That's the one I'll be voting for. 
Should I have the opportunity? <laughs> I know I won't, but hey ho. And so guys, Sophie's managed to convince Rob that she potentially wants kids in the future, but I'm really not so sure. And if you listen to this, I think Rob is of the same mind. It sounds like at the end of the day, she would want to be a mom. She just doesn't want to have children, which I understand that. So if we could explore the other options, then uh, then I feel like me and Sophie could move forward with having a family. So I think we I think we'll be OK as long as that's really what she's really what she wants. No, it's not really what she wants. What she really wants is to make sure she hangs on to you and hang on to that possibility of a green card. So if you really listen to what he says, he says, if that's really what she wants, Rob, you and I both know it more than likely isn't. And I really do have this feeling that Sophie wants to be in LA more than she wants to be with Rob. I think she likes Rob. She may even love Rob, but he's a conduit to her getting the life that she actually wants. Anyway, next time we see Sophie, she's chatting with her mum. Her mum comes on screen and she says immediately, I'm really sorry about what I said about Rob. I now know that you're going to marry him and I need to get to know him more and I need to stop slagging him off. Oh dear Sophie's mum, you speak a moment too soon. <laughs> oh dear. And Sophie tells her about the whole baby issue. And Sophie's mum's, well, incredulous. She said, how did this issue not come up before? Sophie's mum, that's the question we're all asking. But I've got the feeling that Sophie's mum is well aware she doesn't want to have kids because she says this. I mean, do you really want kids? Or are you just doing this just to please him? Like, truth, really dig deep to this one, it's important. And then Sophie waffles for a few moments and she says we're thinking about surrogacy or adoption. Um, Rob's pretty much made it clear he doesn't want adoption. Come on, Sophie, weren't you listening? And then she said, I am a people pleaser. But on this one, I've really got to think about what I want to do. I don't want to ruin my life if I'm not going to be happy. Well, then the Uber puts this to you. Get rid of Rob. Get rid of him right away. <laughs> He's the biggest life ruiner you're likely to come into contact with. And then Sophie's finally honest, but not with Rob, with producers. And she says, I don't want to tell him no to having kids. Otherwise, he'll leave. But I really need to think what I want to do. Yeah, Sophie, I guess you do. I would say it's possibly the most important decision when deciding to get married or when deciding to create a life with somebody. Unless, of course, you're creating a moment and not a life. And so the next time we see this couple, they're getting ready to go out to the club. Rob tells us he doesn't go clubbing very often because when women hit on him, he might get into trouble. Oh, uh, what? Rob, you only get into trouble if you act on those women hitting on you. You're in control of what you do. And it's not in anyone else's hands. Guys, what he's tacitly saying is he's unable to say no when it's offered to him on a plate. That's a problem, a big, big problem. And then Rob says he hasn't been to a club for many years because they're so expensive. Some of them are $50 to get in. Oh, Rob, try being a girl. They're free to get in. <laughs> it is out of order, but going out is so much cheaper as a woman. And so the couple arrive outside the club and they're meeting up with Tarai, Rob's friend, and Soraya, one of the friends that Sophie met on the Dating Stroke Friends app. And so Tarai still has his, well, suspicions about Sophie and her motives. Good to see you. Good to see you finally. It's been forever. Yeah, it's yeah, I, I have to see you. Why you been hiding? What you scared of? I'm super protective over Rob, so I just want to make sure that the people that are coming into his life are doing it for the right reasons. And he thinks she's shady because he saw her on a dating app. But she maintains she was only on there to find friends. But Tyre lets us know he's going to be picking her brain all night. So anyway, finally Soraya turns up and she confirms Sophie's story about how they met on this app. And so all four of them go into the club and they have a few shots. And straight away, Rob asks Soraya, so you met on the app? And Soraya confirms Sophie's story. And then Tyre asks, quite prophetically, oh, so you guys are dating then? Sophie, are you gay? But Soraya said, no, we're not gay. We've both just used the app to make friends. And I have to hand it to Tyre. I kind of wanted not to like him. He seems so suspicious. But now watching him interact with the girls and I guess his suspicions are allayed for a moment. He does actually seem like a nice, genuine guy. And I believe that he had Rob's best interests at heart. I guess the whole friend dating app thing was real. Yeah, she's, she's the proof. She is the proof. This is the proof right here. I apologize. I was wrong. See, I told you. I told you. <laughs> And the e-bird loves a man who can admit he's wrong. Uh, yes, that's you, Tyre, and not you, Rob. Rob just looks down at his drink, and no apology is forthcoming. 
But then, guys, Sophie talks to producers and she tells them none of them know that I'm bi. But I can't just come out to three people right now. I was on the dating app to find friends. And that was genuine. But what happened next was, well, somewhat of a surprise. Guess what Sophie said to producers about being on that app? I'm still on that app to make friends because I don't know anyone out here. And there's there's bi women on the friend side. Like, you can be bi and still, or gay even, and look for friends. So it's like, I do have the option, I guess, of asking them. Well, as long as I don't do anything to disrespect them, it's like, I feel like I should be allowed to do that. Uh, what? As long as you're respectful. How do you respectfully cheat? How do you respectfully ask another person if they're interested in creating a relationship with you when you're with Rob? And she's yet to tell Rob she's bi. And so I guess we don't know, but I'm pretty certain. In fact, no, I'm very certain he won't be happy about it. He won't be happy with her hitting up other women. Unless you have an open relationship, there is no respectful way to do that. Anyway, guys, it's the bit you've all been waiting for. The final time we see Sophie this week. She's on her own in a new apartment. And just for shits and giggles, she's standing in the toilet. <laughs> Guys, it's not outside. And the producers show us this bit of information. And we all know what that means in 90 Day Fiancé. Yes, that's right. Shit's gone down. And Sophie's busy talking to producers. And she lets them know that she went through Rob's phone. And she found videos of a shady nature. She found videos of Rob, videos of loads of other girls where he's asking for nudes. And so she threw the ring at him, found an apartment, and told him to drop her off. I'm not perfect, but I'm, I'm definitely not trying to f me with nobody else but you. I just want you. I want you in my life. I don't want nobody else, you baby. The messages. I saw the messages, even the ones that you didn't save. I've seen them, Rob. So I don't care what you keep saying. It doesn't mean anything to me. You're just a liar. And Sophie said, in my opinion, it's cheating. You're asking for videos and nudes. You're jacking off to them. And the videos were disgusting, and there were absolutely loads of them, all different girls. Oh, don't worry, Sophie. According to Rob, they're just random girls. <laughs> random girls doing random things at random times. And as we know, he's done this before. And like I said at the time, this is not the first time. You did not catch him the first time he's been doing it. But for Sophie, the worst thing is, she told him at the time, if I catch you doing this again... I'm leaving, I'm going, that's it. And he continued, so he knew what he was doing. And she doesn't know what to do. She said, if I leave him now, I've given up everything my whole life and I have to go home. I have no friends, no car, no job. And I can't stay in LA unless I marry him. It's all just so unfair. I'm just really trying not to think about it. But it's hot. <sighs> Thing. It's, like, it's not even that he's hurt me. It's that I don't. What am I supposed to do now? And guys, poor Sophie dissolves into tears. And that's where we end things for this video. Guys, this video is becoming rather long. And as you can imagine, I've got quite a lot to say about this couple. So I'm going to stop it there and make a separate video for this week's action. But I first want to talk about what the eBird makes to all of this. Well, this is the absolute benefit. And yes, that's right, I do mean benefit of going out with much younger girls. Now, had Rob been going out with someone nearer his own age, when he was first caught cheating all those months ago, I think there would have likely been far more scrutiny. He wouldn't have been able to just brush it off and the relationship would have been more than likely finished. And also, I think an older woman would have been less likely to race off to LA and give everything up and be prepared to get married within 90 days if that cheating had have happened previously. I think what would be much more likely was that there would have been another extended trip to America, maybe three months or so, to ascertain if the relationship was viable. And it would have been very simple to organise, and I think Brits can stay in America for about three months without an official visa. And the next issue is the very thorny issue of children. I have every reason to believe that Sophie doesn't want to have kids, but she was just saying surrogacy or adoption just to appease Rob. I think she just wants to marry Rob and stay in LA and have fun and adventures. And having kids are the very last thing she's considering. So yeah, I think if she has it her way, there'll be sons, children. But Rob, on the other hand, well, he's quite desperate to have kids. But the question you have to ask, considering that there doesn't seem to be any real chemistry between Rob and Sophie, is why does he want kids with Sophie? I think the first thing, of course, is the aesthetics. But there's something else which is rather more insidious than that, and that's the financials. It's my belief that he's got one Inglewood eye on Sophie's family's cash. I think he knows good and well that if he and Sophie were to start a family, Sophie's family would weigh in and perhaps buy them a property 
or at least help them rent a property, perhaps even with an indoor lavatory. <laughs> but yes, I do think he has ulterior motives for being with Sophie as well. And so finally, I want to have a little chat about Rob's cheating. In fact, not just his cheating, but his overall mindset. And so remember a couple of weeks ago on the beach, Rob got extremely irate and was shouting in Sophie's face, I didn't cheat, I didn't cheat. Don't be saying I'm cheating, I'm not a cheat. All I did was send a video. It all happened in under one hour. And the next thing I know, this chick, this random chick, has contacted you. Now I knew at the time that it was absolutely inconceivable that that was the first time he'd ever done it and he managed to get caught right away. And lo and behold, I was right. Because it would seem that this is Rob Singh, this is what he does. And he doesn't seem to think there's that much of a problem with it. He seems to think it's not quite cheating. But what this also demonstrates is his very, very low opinion of Sophie. He thinks he's got these smutty videos hidden where she'll never ever find them and she found them in about 0.2 seconds. He's also not massively concerned about getting caught. Either he thinks he can get another Sophie or he thinks he'll be able to talk her around. But either, either way, it doesn't bode well for the future. So guys, let me know what you think. I'm going to recap the rest of Rob and Sophie later in the week. But first, I've got to bring you Nikki and Justin. Guys, I literally couldn't get my breath. So yeah, that's coming up next. But let me know what you think about these guys in comments down below. And specifically, I want you to think about if you think Rob really genuinely loves Sophie. And also, do you think that Sophie really does want kids? Or is she just trying to pull the wool over Rob's eyes? Guys, thank you so much for listening. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you soon. You've been listening to eBird Online. And I bid you good day. Don't leave me here.